Hey everybody, and Tony here with a review of Verdi's Rigoletto with Diego Mateos on the podium and starring Siobhan Stagg, Josef Kang, and Markus Brook as the principal characters. And before I start this review, I want to give a birthday shout out to my mom. So mom, if you're watching this, I wish you a very prosperous, wonderful, blessed, and just plain happy birthday. I am very grateful to be your son, and I want to thank you for all the moral support that you've given me in both the good times and the bad times, and I just thank you for being an awesome mom in your own special way. I thank you for everything you had to show me in life. And I'm just very grateful in general. And I hope you also enjoy my review of Verdi's Rigoletto at the Deutsche Oper Berlin. Because the short answer is everyone did fabulously. From the principal players to the supporting cast to the minor roles. Everyone was just plain fabulous. Now, if you want the long answer, then please tune into this review. Now, I was mainly anticipating this even though I've watched this production for a good three times already because Shaban Stagg was going to make her role debut as Gilda. Over the years, I have watched Shaban Stagg grow as a singer from starting off with some of the small parts to even character roles, even to bigger roles like Sophie from Rosenkavalier and eventually Blonde from The Entführung aus dem Sahel. And now she is tackling Gilda. How did she fare, you ask? I thought she did fabulously. First of all, she looks the part. She is young. She is angelic. She has a very graceful stage presence, which manages to really make Gilda come alive as a character. She inhabited this role with grace and beauty and just a sense of delight that makes me smile every time she appears on stage. And her voice is her silvery signature lyric coloratura soprano voice, which she has been so well known for. Yes, I did notice that she was nervous because this was the first time that she was going to tackle a role like this. Because it should be no surprise that Gilda is one of the most iconic Verdi heroines of all time and also considered to be one of the most innocent characters in terms of Verdi's opera characters. But nonetheless, she sang with beauty, she sang with charm, she sang with such great dimension, and she acted very, very convincingly as Gilda. She not only played the role of Gilda, but she inhabited the role wonderfully. I bought the pain that she had to go through. I bought the delight when she first meets the Duke in disguise as the student Gualtier Malde, and I was just so immersed in her overall portrayal of this iconic Verdi heroine. She really made a strong impression on me in this role, and the positives of everything that she had to offer more than outweigh the negatives. So with that said, I say kudos to you, Miss Stagg. Who knows, in the near future, I would love to see you in roles like Lacme, Cerbinetta, Leila, Melisande, Manon, the fairy godmother from Sandrillon, Constanza, Ophelia, Feline, Lucia, Amina, Elvira Walton, and maybe roles like Zdenka from Arabella. What more can I say about this wonderful, wonderful singer? She was just fabulous as Gilda, and I'm sure that her performance will definitely get better in the next few days. Then we have The Duke, sung by the wonderful Josep Khan, who I also saw a good three months ago when he performed this role with Olga Peretiatko as Gilda and George Gagnitze as Rigoletto. And once again, he was able to give the goods in terms of his clarion, full lyric tenor voice, and his swagger, and his awesome, awesome stage presence, which is so inviting and so invigorating. He was youthful, he was charming, yet he was also caddish. A very great amount of charisma 
was just in pure evidence when it came to Joseph Kang as the Duke. Then we have Rigoletto, sung by Marcos Brook, who I also saw two years ago perform the same role. I thought he was at his finest in terms of how he performed the role today. He was just at his absolute best when he sang with such authority, clarion power, and with such raw strength that he was able to just put me on the edge of my seat. And, and there are times that I felt like the earth shook at the bottom of my feet. That is just how awesome he is as a dramatic baritone. He moved throughout the stage like a tiger. But at the same time, his voice rang out like thunder, which just made him so awesome as a singer, but also equally as raw and grand as a performer. I definitely bought this gentleman as Rigoletto, both as an actor and as a singer, and in the process, as an overall artist. He really inhabited this role with ferocity, charm, and a sense of cynicism that this character experienced during his years in the court as a court jester. And you could definitely see that searing throughout every single pore of his being. I definitely bought it. So what more can I say about the three principal players of Shaban Stag as Gilda, Josep Kang as the Duke, and Marcus Brook as Rigoletto? They did fabulously. And then when we have the secondary players of Sparafucile and Madalena, we had Yevgen Orlov, who I've never heard before, and Judith Kutasi, who I've heard in a couple of productions. Now with Yevgen Orlov as Sparafucile, I thought he had a very round and rich voice, which is so common in a lot of Slavic bassos. It has that rich and round timbre that is just so invigorating to listen to. And he really has a stage presence, which is firm, commanding, and really panther-like as he really moved like a panther lurking behind the trees and he's just that awesome he really knows how to bring a sense of mystery and threat to this character and he has a stage presence that just spells that you do not want to mess with him i can't wait to see more of this basso in the near future judith kutasi as i stated before was a mezzo contralto I've heard in a couple of production. The first time I heard her was as a third lady from The Magic Flute, and the second time was as Ulrika from Un Balo e Mascara. I thought she did much better in the dual roles of Giovanna and Madalena. Yes, in the first act, her diction was quite muddled, but it got a lot better during her scene as Madalena. I guess it really took time for her to really get settled with what the text she had to say and everything she had to embody in terms of these two roles, which is not an easy job. And I still have to give Madame Kutasi loads and loads of kudos for everything she had to do with both the roles of Giovanna and Madalena. And I thought she was just absolutely heavenly as Madalena. Her singing with Yevgen Orlov combined with the chemistry that these two have was just so palpable and so exciting. I totally bought them every time they appeared on stage, especially in the storm scene when they're about to murder Gilda. I thought it was just so chilling and their voices blended excellently, which should be no surprise as both of these singers have specialized in a lot of roles in the Slavic repertoire. And the fact that these voices blended wonderfully was just so invigorating. Noel Bully was a strong and handsome Conte Monterone. I really love the presence that he gives to this character. It's menacing. It is just like a lion coming out of his den to spring in front of his prey and gobble them up. I thought he was just very fabulous with that signature bass baritone voice, which he sang with authority and strength. And I really would love to see more of this gentleman singing in the bigger roles. Who knows? He might make a great Gunta, Donar, and maybe Klingzor. 
this gentleman definitely has a bright future when it comes to the bigger roles. And then in the smaller roles, we have Paul Kaufman's superbly sung and acted Borsa, Tom Lehman's caddishly wonderful Marullo, Ben Wager's handsome and rugged Conte Ceprano, Adriana Ferfetska's lovely Contessa Ceprano, Alexei Botnarshuch's firm usher of the court, and I really hope that he sings Sparafucile one day. And even a new artist who I've never heard of before, Mechot Marero, singing the role of one of the ladies of the court. And I thought she had a very sweet and gorgeous voice. So as I stated before, the singing was absolutely wonderful, and the conducting done by Diego Mateus was absolutely well done. Yes, there were moments where he and the orchestra didn't really collaborate, which in turn was a little bit of a mess in terms of how the singers collaborated with him and the orchestra, but his brisk tempo and the nuances that he gave to the orchestra and even to the chorus was quite exciting in a lot of the numbers, especially Si Vendetta and even Posente Amor Mi Chiama. And it was just exciting all around. I'm not gonna mince words here. The conducting was just exciting due to the brisk tempo. So overall, what more can I say? This was just wonderful. I have to give my great kudos to Shaban Stag for a job well done in her role debut as Gilda. Despite her nervousness, she soldiered on, she marched forward, and gave one of the finest performances that I've ever seen. She was a star in her own special way, and everyone was a star. From the principal players, to the secondary characters, to the minor roles, everyone contributed handsomely. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for my review of Mozart's Don Giovanni, which is part of the Met in Live HD Productions. So until then, good night, everybody. And mom, I hope you had a very happy birthday and lots of love to you.